What a win. What a win. Mauled by the Tigers was out. That was brilliant to hear on the telly. But I'm still disappointed I didn't get any biscuits through the post. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Fantastic. Seven unbeaten. Looking good. Feeling good. Yeah, I'm going to try and get myself a bit brighter just by putting my arm there for a bit. Okay, let's see uh, Let's see how that goes. But yeah, hello everyone. Welcome to my reaction to our 3-1 win over Stoke City. Was it a 3-1 game? For me, I don't really think necessarily so. And I'll explain why in a second. I think we were, we were the better team, definitely. And we played really well. Our goals were really, really well crafted. Um, and we'll talk about those goals individually in a couple of seconds. But Stoke weren't... Well, they had spells of the game where they didn't look too bad. But we just managed to, when we had a real, a, a really good patch, compound them. And that was about 30 minutes in. And that was from about 50 minutes through to about 60, 65, whenever it was Slater got the goal. Um, but aside from that, Stoke were causing... A couple of problems and also was forced into a few good saves uh, one from a free kick one from Wesley at point-blank range and he's proving why he was such a smart addition especially with the ball forward for the second goal but we'll talk about the first goal first obviously um, Cyrus Christie played a great ball great ball through to Jaden Philogene but Ben Wilmot was to me, anyway, more focused on stopping Philogene getting through than he was actually clearing the ball. And that allowed Philogene to get through using some pace. Um, and Connolly's finish was remarkable. Just the, the audacity and the confidence to do that, right? To, do, to make it more, to put a bit of flair on it. A um, little bit of luck involved as well with it. Um, hitting the inside of Michael Rose's leg and then deflecting him. And then straight after that, we, we doubled the lead. Traore, uh, let's forget that miss now. To be fair, I, I can say that. I don't think anyone will ever forget it. I don't think Adama will ever forget it. But he's got his goal now and he scored a more difficult chance. Um, all shot with a brilliant ball through, was a, with a brilliant ball over the top to Connolly, staying just on side. Um, to beat Stokes press we saw an opening went for it Connolly pulled it back across and I think it took a couple of deflections first before falling to Traore <laughs> boom on the turn what a finish and then the third one after half time really really well crafted it's, it's the epitome of what Rossinha wants us to do and keep the ball and get people into shooting spaces and Slater great effort but it was it was definitely going wide so he can't claim it and it will go down as a Lyndon Gooch own goal but the deflection looped it into the top corner and it looked fantastic but having watched replays and stuff there is no way that Regan Slater can claim that at all. No way. And then from there on, Stoke got, uh, got a goal back. Greavesy with a bit of a weak tackle. And thinking he was all right, you know, because he was on a booking and didn't want to run the risk of getting sent off. But I think Greavesy misses the next game anyway. Because I think that's his fifth book of the season already. Um, booked at Norwich. Um, at Blackburn. Bristol City and Leicester as well. That's four. And then obviously the booking today takes him up to five. Yeah. So he he will miss he will miss that game uh, against Plymouth, which is unfortunate. But Sean McLaughlin is he, he, Sean McLaughlin is brilliant. Um, I I do really like Sean. I think Greavesy is the better defender, but I do I do still really like Sean McLaughlin, and he did really well for us last season and season before when called upon 
especially in that three back. Um, well, not well under McCann anyway, but then uh, under a senior came in and did really well. And um, I'm not really sure what what else there is to say. Um, shame for Tyrese Campbell to go off injured again. Um, nice to see Connolly on the score sheet again. Tyler Morton looked brilliant um, in midfield. Ruben Vinagra had a really good game. Philogene was lively and a goal's coming for him. It definitely is. Um, can't, can't think of much else to say about the game at the minute. Not really. I think it was slightly harsh on Delap to be dropped going into it. But Rossini said he ran himself into the ground against Leeds and that's why he brought him off. But now now do you change a winning team? That's the question facing Liam Rossini. Uh, one thing I will talk about, the club's tracksuit. <laughs> the player's tracksuit going into the game. Um, walking in, that is a thing of absolute beauty. Take my money. Take my money. Just take it. I'm looking at some pictures of it now. Just just take it. Just take it, please. It's lovely. Um, I thought had well had we not conceded the the fair, well the goal to Stoke, I do think we maybe would have seen James Fairlong come on for Ruben Vinagra instead of Sean McLaughlin and get a debut. And also, what's happened to Harry Vaughan? Where has he disappeared to? Uh, Ali R, he's been on the bench a couple of times as well this season. Not made an appearance as of yet. No, what, no, no, he did, didn't he? Sorry, at Leicester. Um, but that was that was only a few minutes. But yeah, Harry Vaughan, uh, two, is it, is it two games now? Out of the team in a row? Uh, not named in the 11? I think so, yeah, it is. And then... Two as an unused sub before that, after starting on the opening day, then getting injured. Um, yeah, maybe maybe the rumours of him going out on loan wouldn't have been so bad after all, because he has just faded out the team now, and I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I love Harry, and I don't want him to just fade gradually back into the under 21s because he was there in the first team and you don't don't want to see players go back in there unless they're getting fitness so yeah interesting anyway speaking of the under 21s monday or monday the 25th if we're thinking dates i won't say tomorrow or whatever because people will be watching this at different times but monday the 25th 7 p.m under 21s kick off at uh, North Ferriby's ground, obviously in North Ferriby, the Dransfield Stadium. Get down there, support the boys, watch them play some very nice football and see the future stars of Hull City. But what a win today. What a win today. Absolutely brilliant. And Plymouth will be tough. They stuck six past Norwich. And you don't do that if you've got if you're terrible. But equally I think they had four put past them in midweek. So they are definitely beatable. And our defensive record is pretty good. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hopefully see you all the under-21s tomorrow. And yeah, what a win. Mauled by the Tigers. Get in!